in 2000, our daughter, Danielle, who was 21, was killed uh, by a drunk driver. And she was our only child, so we went in search of some meaning. And uh, we met many people here who inspired us because they were struggling on many levels and they uh, also had many losses in their lives. Was we started working with an organization called The Lake Clinic, which has Khmer doctors, nurses, and uh, midwives. Uh, started by a wonderful man named John Morgan, who uh, believed that the people in this area was, were underserved. Uh, so they came out by boat and they were working on pagodas and just in people's houses. And we decided with John and they built a boat that could bring the team around, but we decided that uh, we w it would be helpful to build some clinics. People live here mostly due to income, as fishing. Uh, they're all fishermen. They're from 20% of the village is Vietnamese, and uh, the rest is Khmer. And uh, it's during the low season. There's very little water, so the water becomes very difficult to live with, washing, cleaning, that sort of thing. Uh, and then the water levels fluctuate 10 meters, so you can imagine the difference. Different currents, different winds, there's storms and rain and dry season. So. They're uh, very, very strong, very versatile people. Both uh, I started working in, in uh, Southeast Asia in 2001. better futures for children and families so most of our focus is on education and health care and, um, and family support so we do a variety of things from building schools and uh, building clinics sponsoring children to go to school bringing uh, clean water income generation projects women's leading cooperative and study training and we work all over the country and we try to work sometimes in more isolated areas like we are right now on in Mokla on the Tony South Lake. We started out just buying books and uh, medicine, helping paint a school. Painting, yeah, painting classrooms, very small projects. And as uh, we would we would do the projects and send emails to home to our friends, and they would pass them on to different people. And we would just tell stories of the people we met, the situations we encountered, and the difficulties that children and people face. Three years ago, we came here to visit the the school and the school was sinking so uh, it was it was it had bamboo that was getting waterlogged so we raised money at home and we came back and we built, built a steel frame or steel pontoons and built a new school for the children uh, however they don't have any lights or electricity for fans we're actually here to install a solar system on the motkla elementary school there's 320 approximately children who en enrolled there uh, when they're not fishing or working with their families to sustaining their lifestyles, they, they like to have the opportunity to go to school. Uh, within 24 hours, they will have uh, energy efficient and uh, sustainable power. So
happens in Cambodia, it just seems to happen. People work hard to make it happen and we all work together.